Finally became a household name on KUSI Sportscast. His fame only growing after a successful collegiate career. Now as captain of the Phoenix Suns, Jared kind enough to pay a visit to the KUSI Hardwood. Mr. Dudley, good to see you again, sir. Glad to be back on the show, guys. Thanks for having me. All right, let's talk first about your upcoming basketball camp. Camp Opportunity, if I have the name correct. Uh, great name. Tell us yes. about the camp. Uh, it's basically, uh, I've been wanting to do this for years now. I've teamed up with my high school coaches, Zach Jones, and the top high school coaches and AAU coaches around San Diego to try to bring the whole community together. Uh, I got other players like Chase Budinger and Dominic McGuire speak at the camp, uh, past NBA players from San Diego. This is something I want to do for the youth and uh, show them, my, you know, basically tell them about my story, uh, do a lot of NBA drills, and try to prepare them for life after basketball and life in college, man. So this is uh, something I've been wanting to do for a while now. And do I have the name right? It's Camp Opportunity, right? Or Camp? Yeah. Yeah, Jerry did the Camp of Opportunity. Yeah. So, uh, great name. Uh, who came up with that? Ali Goldstein, uh, coach at Hoover. And he's also involved in this uh, heavily, and, uh, you know, they won a CIF this year. So, I'm trying to get the best coaches around. All right, so one drill for youngsters. What do kids need to work on that they're not working on? Shooting. I think shooting is the biggest thing. I'm not saying that because I'm a shooter. I'm just saying that because everything comes from that. Uh, ball handling, uh, shooting off the dribble, catch shooting. Um, if you can knock down that shot consistently, it makes you more dangerous by driving. It opens up the whole floor of your game. So kids at home, work on your shooting. Every team needs a shooter, uh, and, and that's something I would be first. All right, you know, wh while we're here, we got to talk a little NBA basketball. Do you mind? Yes, never. Our, our um, Miami Heat, as we speak, have their hands full with the Indiana Pacers. How vulnerable are the defending champs? Huge. It's a, it's a matchup nightmare for them. Uh, their their strengths is their inside players, and that's Miami's weakness. Um, I do feel like Miami can overcome it, but it's not going to be it's not going to be easy. And last year they played them, and they were up two one in the series. And Miami, you know, overall the talent uh, took over, but this year's a little bit different. Uh, Indiana's better, they're much improved, and it could easily go seven. Uh, you know, with Miami having to win in their home court. We asked this of Chase, so we'll ask this of you. Chase, a little bit in awe of LeBron James. Are you in awe of LeBron James, or is he just another guy trying to take your paycheck? Another guy taking the paycheck. Uh, I think for me personally, I, I think my first couple of years, I was in awe of like Yao Ming and Shaq, how big they are when you first get in. Um, I'm now in my sixth season. I guard these guys, Durant, LeBron, Kobe. Um, it was a dream come true, but now I'm living a dream, so I'm trying to make my own mark. All right, well, we got to let's go back in time. Uh, Jared, you were a two-time state champion at Horizon. The Panthers just recently added another state banner to the gym. Uh, had you ever heard of the name of Ethan Underwood before uh, before the season started? I won't lie, I didn't. But when, when I hit that game-winning shot, my Twitter blew up. <laughs> I, I saw all the videos. It's probably the biggest shot in Horizon history. Congrats to them and Coach T down there. Uh, you know, well-deserved. How much do you credit your time at Horizon for... I mean, obviously, there was, your fundamentals as a basketball player came at Horizon, right? Huge. Uh, Zach Jones helped mold me. Uh, he was a guy that was uh, disciplined, strict. Um, um, he helped me think the game. I owe a lot to him. Uh, also, Marlon Wells, other players like that. Al Skinner, my, uh, my coach in college. Uh, but Horizon got me in shape. I was a short, pudgy, fat kid, and they had me out there running laps before the season and got me to, uh, got me to college and got me basically now to the NBA. Uh, you know, speaking of college, before uh, we talk about Jeff Withy, uh, you you went to BC, went all, went all four years. Yes. Uh, a lot of kids now are, you know, they play 20 college games and then they're off to the uh, association. Talk about your path and why maybe it might be important to emulate your path. Well, my path is, uh, I mean, I had to go four years. Um, I wasn't good enough at that time. My junior year, we were ranked as high as, you know, three in the country. And if my team would have gone further in the NCAA tournament. Um, and by once you get close to your junior year, my mom wanted me to get my degree. Uh, I'm glad I came back because I got ACC Player of the Year. It helped my buzz. I, I would say this to young people uh, that are trying, you know, to go early to the NBA. That's fine. You can always go back. Uh, there's players on my team like Channing Fry that got their degree after coming out early. Um, you have to go when you're hot and when the buzz is hot because you never know when you can make a million dollars and uh, this basketball game goes quick. Uh, but that degree will be there, you know, life after basketball, and you're going to need that. And that's something I'll be speaking about at my camp. All right, uh, Jerry, we got about 40 seconds left, so I need you to give me about 20 seconds on each answer here. Right. Jeff uh, Withy, he's going to be going to the association soon. Uh, f uh, another Horizon Panther played K at Kansas. In 10 seconds, what kind of will his game make the transition? Yes, it will. I got him late first round, early second round, shot blocker, playing the NBA for 10 years. All right, and then uh, the L.A. Lakers, their demise is going to be uh, – well, that Steve Nash trade certainly worked out for you guys. Everybody was up in arms. Uh, what is, are the Lakers ever going to come back? 
they'll come back. Everyone wants to play for the Lakers, the tradition. Give them a couple years once the, the cap space works, but uh, we'll take their picks and have fun with it coming up here. <laughs> oh, hey, Jared, we our ASR Facebook <laughs> poll question. After Bill Walton, who do you consider the best prep basketball player to ever come out of San Diego? Do any names come to mind, Jared? I, I think you have to go with myself, Chase Bunninger, Dominic McGuire, and Luke Walton. But I'm going to put me slightly ahead. <laughs> <laughs> i got to be a little bit confident. But, no, great guys, great careers so all of them. Jared, uh, we wish you all the best with your basketball camp. And what a classy young man you are. It's, all, it's always good to uh, chat with you again. I'll be back. Jared Dudley, captain of the Phoenix Suns.